Hello Aries! That's what that time is. It's that time again. For your mid-March to April reading of this current year. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It doesn't resonate with you. It doesn't resonate with you. No worries. We're going to be doing a Thunderdome. Uh, some of you definitely want to pair up somewhere. Find your partner. Open the door. Make a happy home between you and someone else. We're going to look at you and that someone else today. It's going to be you and the other person you're possibly dealing with. Or just maybe even two people that's in your life that's like blah, blah, blah. Really? Um, if you want a personal reading, my email's down below. I don't charge for them, but I do take tips. So you can always donate through PayPal if you feel guilty enough. Whatever you want to do, right? Um... No, yes or no's. Don't take it personally. Remember, it's just a card game, y'all. Okay. This actually works better than trying to use my hands because this card deck is just like, ugh. And I feel sad because I feel like I need to laminate these because the endings are starting to come off. I guess that shows how rough I am with things. All right. So we got group one and group two. Group one, as always, we're starting with you because it doesn't make sense to go out of order. Or maybe that's just the Capricorn in me. It could be either or. It really doesn't matter. Boof. No whammies. All right. Group one, we have the Magician or the Star Man right here. Four of Swords and your wants and wishes. Nine of cups reversed in your fears and rejections. The moon reverse. Six of cups and the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Two of cups reversed. Oh my. But the beginning theme being king of cups. You're definitely in your element right now, strangely enough, even though this is the king of cups, but it doesn't really matter. Group one. What matters is is that you are in tune with everything around you. You are on your cup, so that's a good thing. You all move. There you go. I was a messy person to work out. Um, King Cups is like Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, so that could be in you too, or this is just the person you're dealing with. Um, but there is this vibe of uh, coming to your senses about what is around you, being connected. What to what's around you through your cup. Like, he's got his, like, um, his plexus, whatever the word is, plexus connected to that cup, and it's in the ground. It's not connected to him. Not by any physical means, but it is connected through his cup, through his heart. Okay? He's not being a dick. You might have the thousand yards fair, but he is being fair. He is being understanding. He may not show emotion, but he's definitely, like, doing the emotion part. So, it's the star man. Someone might be in manifestation mode, group one. It could be you. Someone could be ready to create, to try to get things involved. But it seems like they also created some sort of bondage. Possibly a Capricorn is the one doing it. Or you are bound to someone who is a Capricorn. And it could almost be like a toxic bond. Like a lot of people like saying that it's toxicity with the devil, right? And I say it too. But that's not always the case. It's not always that it's toxic in the sense that, um, and I, and I hate the word toxic. Like people who use the word toxic unironically don't know what, um, common denominators are, right? Like you can't go around calling people toxic and not look at yourself and say the same thing, you know, cause you only attract what you are. It's normally how it works with magnets. Wait. No, they attract the opposites. So how the fuck does that work with people? Never mind. It doesn't even matter. What it matters is is that there could be a Capricorn here. Or there is something here that is keeping two people who probably have problems with one another together. Honestly, it's not that they are toxic people. It's just they are toxic together. They create their own havoc environment. So it's like someone created the environment in order to keep someone bound to them. It's like the bond is not good, <laughs> but it's not unhealthy either. 
You know, things only are unhealthy for as long as you let them be. But someone is coming out of the illusion with the moon reversed in the situation and events. Like, this person is finally, like, seeing things for what they are. Could be you, Sagittarius. Could be Leo. Or Sagittarius. Could be Sagittarius. Could be you, Aries. I, my apologies. I don't know how the last fire sign came out first, but it could be that there's a Sagittarius involved in all of this. Someone who may be lying. Someone might be seen through someone's lies. Someone might be picking up, eh, there's something here that I'm not quite getting. This person's aggressive. This person's like, I want what I want, and I want it now. And they're not entirely being, um... Oh, she's still got her poise. She's the queen of wands, right? She's still gonna have her poise. Um, but her poise is like, I want it and I want it now. It's like really aggressive. Two seconds. Sorry, I thought I was hearing my cat in my cabinet, but she's not in there. Unless she's in the top one. If she is, good luck, bitch. You're not getting out. I'm not letting you out. I'm going to wait till your dad comes home, and then he can get you out. <laughs> I'm like, she'll die in there. But yeah, it's like, someone, or someone's coming out of these illusions, and it's pissing them off. That could be another one, too. Like, maybe there was something around you. Group one that you didn't know about, possibly dealing with the fire sign, possibly dealing with the Aries, and you realize that possibly they were lying to you, not being honest with you. I mean, it could be vice versa. Like, either whatever secret illusion is coming out to be, it either pissed the Aries off or you found out the Aries is a liar. It's one of the two. Could be either or, right? I need. Mean, I'll get that notebook here in a minute, because I have a horrible memory. All right, Four of Swords. Contemplation, thinking, meditating, concentrating your thoughts on the focus. Uh, enabling behaviors. Bad, bad investment, seven. Oh, you were in that one, okay. Then, well, there you go, you got yourself out. Good job, I'm proud of you. I'm so fucking distracted. Yeah. Someone is thinking about all, a lot of like bad investments or maybe even enabling behaviors. It's like really on your mind. <laughs> like, group one, like what the fuck? It's like somebody here created this um devil relationship right this bondage and mind you with uh capricorns right if this was a capricorn it's like the bondage is secure like we like normally capricorns when we get in a relationship with people it, it's literally like this like we have our little devil person up here guarding the both of us because when we're with somebody like we protect them, we watch over them. Kind of in like a really creepy stalkerish way, but it's out of love because we're actually really sweet. We're just really misunderstood, but we're fucking nuts too. So keep that in mind, right? But that's kind of like how a Capricorn is. It's like once we're bound to you, we it, 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 it's like a, an enchantment, a spell. Like it's hard to dissolve the bond. That's just how Capricorns are. Like we love hard, so we hold on very, very hard. And it's like... It's caused group one, either you or the person you're dealing with, to um, really look at what's been put in here and realize that um, <clears throat> it's like someone's finding some shit out about somebody, right? It's like, wait, this relationship wasn't what I thought it was, and now I find out that you're or like you're doing something wrong over here and now I gotta sit here and think about all the things that you've told me and all the things you've done and try to figure out which one is which that's what it feels like to me a little bit like someone like someone found out somebody would cheated or some shit right six of cups reverse maybe it on from the past to go to the future could also be reflecting on like some really bad childhood memories or just memories from the past in general either or right that's in the obstacles challenges what's coming against you group one Okay, uh, 
yeah, in the past that you're trying to be away from, group one, <clears throat> this is breakup, which I really think is because somebody found out somebody was probably cheating. <laughs> like, that's what it looks like. It's like someone's up here thinking about all this bad investment. Someone's over here, like, finding out someone was a liar. Someone's really like this relationship. It's just, ah, uh, like, ah. Uh, just makes you feel just a little bit off, I reckon. This Nine of Cups reversed in the fears and rejection. Someone's wish came true, but now they're dissatisfied with the wish. It, 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 like, I don't want to, like, she's still smiling, so I don't think it's an entire hubris. As much as it is, yeah, they're not offering a 10th cup. Like, they're not satisfied. Someone is not satisfied enough for this 10th cup. It's going to be turned down. Like, I, I feel like someone got their wish. And now they don't like their wish. And now they're just not investing their other cup into it. Group one. Ah! And then with this two of cups reverse, once again, right next to each other, right? We're dealing with the past. You're moving away from it. And you're definitely moving away from it. Group one. It pairs like. This person is drifting... Their little boat to calmer waters. They don't even want to deal. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Moving on to great things in order to get your king of cups right. That is what this is. This person is moving on to great things they enjoy. They are taking the slow thing, I say with this deck when it's reversed. They're moving on very quickly to better things in order to get their balance to be cool about shit, right? Creepy. So, yeah, group one. Looks like this person just is like, nah, man. Let's not. Hmm. One of three advice cards for group one. Might be, yeah, look, something didn't manifest correctly. Something did not work out. Like, something went negative. Like, the magician was reversed here. Like, the magician showed up twice. And there he is. This could be, um, you? It's like, like yeah, because the magician can sometimes be an Aries. So, it's like, that's kind of like you kind of created this, and now it's just left you all whack. Possibly. Or, they think that, like, you're the problem. Yes. Yeah, and there might be a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus that you really don't want to deal with either, because they're really demanding, they're really petty. They depend on you a lot, they're not very self-sufficient, they withhold their pentacle a lot. But... Something's not moving on. Like, all of this right here, where you, um... Want to move away from the relationship where you want to get away because it doesn't make you happy? Like, it's like, that doesn't happen here. Group one. This is like a dream, almost. Like, this is what started it and what's going to end it. And this is your fears and rejections, but it's just kind of like... Is, is it like you're afraid you won't find someone else who will give you a cup if you refuse this one? I wonder. I, I almost feel like that. I feel like someone's afraid that they won't find their specific match. If they go. Right? So let's move on to group two. Runner up! Oh, um, by the way, no communication. Um, but there will be an end to the fighting, and there'll be a victory coming in as soon as someone opens their mouth. Just so y'all know. <laughs> <coughs> My throat has been making the weirdest fucking noises as of late. And I don't know if that's the whole throat chakra thing that people describe. Because I really don't subscribe to that kind of stuff, right? Like, I do in some cases. Like, I believe in some, like, 
universal power or, or, or some shit. I believe we're all connected and stuff. But, it, like, it, I don't know about, like, everything. I can be skeptical about some things. I'm loud. Which is weird, considering, you know, like, I'm watching my collar. Let's see. All right. So, let's do it. Group two. Ah. Don't. Ah, uh, seems like they got some stuff stuck in their head that they're really having trouble sleeping over. Which is very upsetting, right? Right. At least I think so. Yes, universe, help me shuffle these cards a little bit more shittily. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Aries. I love you guys. Like, you guys are so easy to get along with, but you guys always like to have it your way. But you are, like, I am. That's your motto, so. That's just how you are. Like, you guys only know what to do because you've already done it before. Everybody else did, so. To be fair on that. Ah! But you are definitely dealing with this breakup as well, group two. So you're definitely connected to each other. You know what? Fuck it. That's going to be the first card. No Ammies. Since this shit's so electric. The Ace of Swords. Truth. Clarity. Understanding. Getting a new perspective. Group two. Six of Swords Reverse, you're looking for a reason to stay. <laughs> Four of Wands Reversed and the Fears of Rejection. Okay, that makes sense. Prince of Cups in the Situation. Seven of Cups in the Fears of Rejection. Or, not Fears of Rejection, just Obstacles and Challenges of what goes against you. Queen of Pentacles Reversed. Once again, she shows up, but this time in yours, differently. Reversed. And the catalyst and find research. And then we. <laughs> King of Cups. He's back again. Getting in tune with your emotions. Trying to take in everything around you. Trying to be um, much more observant than what you already were. Like, it's not the same with you. You're thinking with your heart. Like, get your hand on your head like this, trying to figure out what to do. Like, I, I don't feel like you're trying to be connected to the rest of the world as much as you're trying to get your heart back to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, once again. Like, how do you have, like, the exact same... Well, I mean, it's not impossible, but it's just like, Jesus. But that's okay. I need more coffee. So I I'll get more coffee. Hold on. All right, I got my fix. Okay, so Aries or player group, whatever to whoever you want to respond to. We got the Ace of Swords, right? Group two and or Aries. <laughs> Someone um, is getting the right idea about something. I feel like like that's your position right now. You got the idea about something. You have an I. You have a thought. You have a inkling. I'm gonna do all these on my bed when I don't look as cute. Oh, here's a betrayal. You've been trying to get over. There is something you're trying to deal with, but still tugging on your heartstrings, right? Still in the back of your head. Like, the way I always used to describe this is like, you've been betrayed, but instead of taking the swords out of your back, you just flipped over onto your back, and now you're just elevated over the ground, and the swords are slowly going into you. It's like... Now you're just doing it to yourself. That's kind of good. It's it, it's more along the lines of like you feel betrayed by yourself than you do the other person because you keep living through it. You can't get over it. It's not letting go, right? Then we got the Prince of Cups. He's offering um. Well, it's kind of like the Knight of Cups. He's coming in, possibly not in the most mature way, but way more mature than like the Page. He's offering a cup, even attempting to look like he's about to worship it as he takes it into his hands so gently and lovingly, writing in on his 
silver surfer wave that's actually made of weight. Well, no, that's a stingray. Never mind. He's riding on his silver surfer stingray. <laughs> What's his card? He's just coming in to offer a cup or whatever. Could be also this king of cups here too. Because there's actually somebody he's connected to. Oh, he might be offering it to Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. He's offering this cup up, being diligent and fair about it. That's the situation. Like, he's offering his love, and he's trying to be fair. But then he comes into this concept like he's doing all this betraying stuff to himself. He's hurting himself. This is weird. Then we have the, um... A six of swords, where someone wants a reason to stay instead of moving on. But here we have the six of cups reversed. That's two sixes, which is about balance. So it's just like, you want to stay because of a connection to the past, but you know that, like, you got future somewhere. Like, you don't, like, you want your future, but you're forced to walk away from it. This pairing, like this dude in the bottom... He's walking away from the situation. He's all grayed out in the background where these two people who are reminiscing about childhood memories and stuff are still lingering there. Like, there's a past memory that's definitely attached to this and you definitely want this back. But, you're not getting it. And you have to move on. Seven of Cups going against you. Options. Possibly some emotional confusion. Possibly getting into your creativity. Um, possibly trying to sneak the fuck away to all these different options. Um, probably trying to get away with some sneaky stuff. So you got options and you're emotionally confused, but you're trying to get away. Like, I don't understand. <coughs> Either this fiery king of wands is offering the cup or someone is offering them the cup. But either way, um, whichever scenario it is, someone keeps hurting themselves, betraying themselves, and they finally come to a realization to it, and I think that's why they want to, they have to move on. Like, they want to stay, I feel like, but yeah, it's just, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think it's manifesting anything good in this, right? Four of Wands in the Fear and Direction, it is reversed. Like, sometimes means closed door. But there's a pair of people here, and they might not be the happiest behind closed those, those closed doors. And there's movement behind it, too. There's change. There's um, eruption. There's things going forward. And I feel like... You feel like this door is closed. That's just what it's moving towards. Like, you're, either you're wanting to move away from it, group two, or someone is moving away from you. Probably because they were disappointed, but, you know, that's whatever. Oh! Speaking of disappointment, Queen of Pentacles reverse, here she is again. Um, being crazy, developing her shit, right? Very demanding. Devil. Capricorn's card once again. There's a Capricorn in both of y'all somewhere. I don't know where it is. Or y'all are just like tethered together but for the wrong reasons. It's like... It is like... What was that? The Page of Pentacles popped up? Like, does somebody have a kid? And like... like I, Alright, I'm just throwing this out here. It feels like somebody had a kid with someone else and lied about it. Could be a Capricorn child, because the Page of Pentacles came up reversed, and it was like a disappointment. And here she is reversed, and it's just like, who is these people? Who are they? Where did they come from? Why do they have no clothes with a giant thing with bat wings? That's what we're all wondering, right? But it's just kind of like... Hmm. It, like, I, I, I'm just getting the vibe. It's like someone's doing it to themselves. And it's like this devil energy. It's like the Queen of Pentacles is already being like very demanding and very bitter. But now there's like the devil here. So it's like now there's an entity built up of negativity. And like people just keep feeding it instead of working on it. And I think that's the problem. Like group one already had the devil in the beginning. With what was manifested. This is like the ending and the beginning right here. Like, both. The catalyst and the final result. And it's like someone really, really being demanding. 
either about a relationship or about a Capricorn. And here we have the King of Cups using his heart to get out of these illusions. He's seeing past the illusions and he's now getting upright. Y'all are fucking like, ugh. It's like one wants to run away and the other one doesn't have a choice but to run away. Right. What are the three advice cards for group two? Plus. Okay. Yeah, this is a heartbreaking situation. Someone got their heart broken. Someone might be reserving their strength too. Trying to um, restrict themselves in this entire scenario, right? And I feel like group two, you're just not gonna say that you want to leave. I don't. I don't. I, like e even if you did, you're still going. I feel like, yeah. And you're being very, very defensive, more so than what you usually should be. Nine of Wands reverse reversed. Damn, group two, like. I, I, like, personally, I think... I think... That... You should keep doing what you need to do. To make yourself better. Like, everybody is in this thing where, like, either someone's wasting their time or someone's walking away. I've been noticing with my readings. Like... Either someone's coming or someone's going and another person's just being like, ah, fuck it, bye-bye, you know? So, that's your guys' um, mid-March to April reading, and I hope you guys have a good one. Um, take this into consideration. Stop. Just stop. Because I don't like seeing people hurting themselves or other people. Just take care of yourself and... Eventually, we'll turn this frown upside down, and you'll be back to where you need to be. Okay? See you guys later. Bye-bye.